Hey everybody, Kevin Elliott here with Home Dabbler. It's springtime, at least here in North Florida, and I hope soon wherever you are. Um, and that means it is pruning time. So I have my super cool uh, pruning saw here. And you'll notice this really pretty uh, gardenia bush back here and my pittosporum bush both need a really good haircut. But before I chop into them, I thought I'd do a little video to give you some best practices on how to prune your bushes, when to do it, how to do it, and that sort of thing. So um, there really only are a few considerations you need to know when it comes to your established uh, landscape bushes. And, and by established, I mean they're at least a year old. They've been in the ground at least a year. They're good and established. They have a strong root system. So you don't have to worry about them too much. They're usually pretty tough after that. Um, so when you're going to prune your bushes, uh, the, really the only thing you need to know is uh, when do they bloom. So if it's a blooming bush, like my gardenia here, um, you would need to know when they bloom because there are two main kinds of blooming plants. Now, there's some variations in between, but um, there are those that bloom on old growth. In other words, uh, they bloom on the, the twigs and the branches that they put out last year. And then there are those that, uh, grow, that bloom on new growth. Um, and those are ones that bloom on this year's growth. So those are plants like grapevines. Roses are that way. They bloom on new growth. Uh, gardenias bloom on old growth. Also, if you're in the south like I am, um, azaleas, they bloom on old growth. And so the reason that's important is because, uh, so like right now, in, or in about the springtime where I am, uh, it's okay to trim these right now, but if I were to trim these in the fall, late in the fall, and trim them way, way back, well, they've already started setting buds for next spring. See, and I can cut them all off, and then I won't have any bloom in the spring. So I'm not really worried too much about this one. This is a good, strong um, gardenia, and it's, it's going to bloom here soon, and I'm not going to cut it back really, uh, really far. So uh, just always ask, is, does this plant grow on new growth or old growth? And you can Google it, and then you'll find out, okay? Now, as far as shape goes, uh, you can cut these things into boxes. You can cut them into the little sphere type shapes, whatever you want. Depends on the plant. Um, this one, the gardenia and the pittosporum, both have pretty big leaves. And so usually the plants that have big leaves, you can't make really tight shapes with them. You want the ones with really small leaves like yopons or um, boxwoods, things like that. So I'm just going to cut these in a really nice round shape. But here's another little tip and something that people make a, a big mistake on a lot of times is that you'll want the thing to look kind of like a sphere, have a round shape, but they'll cut it, and then when they cut the top, and then they'll, they'll cut in around the bottom like that to make it like a circle. The only problem with that is, is if the bottom of this plant is actually, the, the leaves are farther back in than the top of the plant, sunlight can't get down to those leaves, and so slowly what will happen is you'll notice that it'll start dropping leaves at the bottom. You ever seen a bush like that where you see the, the branches underneath, but there are no leaves, and they have this little poof of, of uh, leaves on top. That's because they're cut in kind of that upside down sphere shape. That's a bad idea, don't do that. So even if you're cutting a bush in a round shape, you wanna cut it so that it slopes uh, slightly out as you go down the bush, okay? And so that way it, it makes sure it gets sun all the way to the bottom so you grow leaves all the way to the bottom, okay? So the, uh, the other thing is, how far back can I cut these? Well. With established bushes, if you're cutting them at the right time of the year, especially in early spring like I am, where they're about to, they're about to explode with growth, you can cut them back about as far as you need to. Really, don't, don't get too worried about these things. They are tough. So if I wanted to, I could just like really chop this back. I could cut it that tall. And by the end of the spring or end of the summer, it's going to be poofed right back out. So don't worry about that uh, so much. Now, this is again, this is for established plants in your yard, established uh, landscape bushes. When you get into more uh, house plants and some uh, fruiting plants and flowers, they're a little bit more persnickety, but this is just for the bigger bushes, okay? So I'm going to put my earplugs in, and then I'm going to cut this thing, and I'm going to show you how I do these, these uh, bushes to cut them in that nice round shape, okay? So here we go. Okay, not bad, right? So, they both have a nice round shape. See, they both angle out toward the bottom, angle out just a little bit, like this. 
so the sun can get all the way down. They look a little rough right now, a little thin, but it's okay. It's early in the spring. These are going to explode with growth here in just a week or two. And then on every one of these little tips where it cut off, it's going to put out two different branches, two new little uh, leaf buds. So it's going to just look totally green and pretty very, very soon. Now, last question is, how often should you do this, okay? That's really going to depend on your own personal taste. Uh, I like to let my stuff go shaggy. I, I like a shaggy yard, but I know people who want their stuff to look just like a British garden, perfectly straight, really, really tight. You can trim these things pretty much as often as you want during the growing season, but remember the considerations about old wood, new wood. You don't want to cut off your flower blossoms, okay? So that's really the basics of pruning bushes. It don't, don't be afraid of your bushes. If they're established in your yard, you go to work on those things. Give them a haircut whenever they need it, and then just watch out for those, uh, the buds to make sure that, they're, that you don't cut them off. Other than that, have fun. Make those things look the way you want. Thanks.